Hello, I'm Lori Vick from University Hospitals and welcome to The Health Difference. Proud parents Jamie and Jennifer Turk had just brought home their beautiful brand new baby boy and everything seemed to be going just fine. Then came the night that Jamie will never forget and Jennifer will probably never fully remember. Vaguely remember Jamie kind of, my husband walking through the door of Christopher's nursery. That's really it. For weeks, Jennifer had been suffering from a stubborn sinus infection. Then one night, while feeding her baby, Jamie found her staring into space, unable to talk. And then I said, Jen, I'm going to call 911, and she kind of did this. Jennifer was rushed to University Hospital's Case Medical Center, where doctors discovered that the sinus infection had moved into her brain. Dr. Warren Selman, director of the Neurological Institute. An infection in the brain is, a, is a, truly a life-threatening problem, and even though it takes some time for it to develop, once it gets established and causes symptoms, the progression can be very rapid. Jennifer needed immediate surgery in order to survive. Here's the frontal sinuses, and then this is how directly it communicates. And so this is what we have to drain. After three surgeries and three weeks in the Neurological Intensive Care Unit at UH Case Medical Center, Jennifer was finally able to go home. Yeah! It's been three years, and Jennifer still can't remember most of her ordeal, but she will never forget the doctors and nurses who saved her life. You don't think about what is happening in University Hospital right now in the Neurological Institute, but they're doing it. They're making miracles happen. For more information or to get a doctor referral, call 866-UH4CARE anytime, night or day, or visit our website. Because at University Hospitals, our doctors make the difference.